Hello everyone and in this episode of Doc's Boost we're talking about upgrades. We're going a long way up with the GT500 Doc's Boost. We've got boxes full of internal parts to strengthen that engine to reach that 1000 plus horsepower mark. That's my goal, that's where we're going, and I'm going to show you all the parts that are going into the rebuild. And I'm Doc and you're watching Doc's Boost and you're here because you know I'm going to show you all about performance upgrades, performance maintenance, and how to get out there and have some high performance fun. Right now the GT500 is in the shop. I delivered it just a few days ago. The engine is coming out, or the engine is out now, being disassembled and getting ready for the builder. We're going to deliver that engine to the builder in the morning and these are all the parts that are going along with it. Everything you see, except for that big box right there, is going inside the engine. I'm going to unbox all of this stuff, lay it all out, and you're going to have a heads up in everything that it takes to get to where I expect to go. So let's get started. parts going inside the engine well except for these two parts right here it's going to be a belt tensioner and a 2.5 inch pulley for the supercharger everything else is internal to the engine starting with competition cams competition cams with uh, we well I'm not going to go into the specs right now I'll write them down and include them in the video comments we've got some great looking camshafts you certainly can't tell much just by looking at them but this thing is going to be one hell of a loper when it's done it's going to have an idle that's going to be that's going to shake the ground as it rolls past so hang on to your honeys and hang on to your drinks <laughs> because the earth is going to rattle when i come around We've got all the bolts hardware for the lower end. We also got head bolts right here, brand new. Extra hard head bolts. We've got valve spring retainers. New valve springs that take up all the new tension. We've got main bearings. We got billet oil pump gears and the, and the oil pump housing. We've got rod bearings. We've got forged pistons, rings, connecting rods and wrist pins. We've got a full gasket set, oil pan, intakes, we've got seals, covers, head gaskets, and an assortment of, of gaskets inside here, valve cover gaskets and grommets and spark plug tube seals. We've got timing chain gears, every timing chain gear and spacers we need along with valve stem seals. We've got shims for the gears. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six chains to go on there with all the bolts and gear hardware to go on as well with the uh, more gears, more gears, more gears. We've got hydraulic tensioners going in there. We've got brand new tights with the chains going in there. And these bolts right here are also for the timing system along with this gear here. I don't know if I showed you that gear or not. This video is all about what's going inside of that engine to strengthen it so when we go above 750 horsepower we're going to go up that ladder with confidence. My ultimate goal is somewhere beyond a thousand rear wheel horsepower and this is the beginning. This is phase one of that journey and you're going to be part of it. And as exciting as all of that is, at least for me, and I hope it is for you too, to keep tuned as we follow the progress of that build moving forward, make sure that you click that video right there. I've got hands selected for you guys so you can watch me on the track, and I'll be with you right there in a moment. 
But I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon again right here in the next episode of Doc's Boost.